There may be times that you would like to assign a line type to an object and not assign the line type by layer. As you know, there are two different ways that you can control the line types of objects. One is to simply assign the line type to the layer. If I click on the Layer Properties button to display the Layer Properties Manager, and I change the line type assigned to Layer 0, I'll change it to the Fence Line. Notice that the objects drawn on Layer 0 that have their line type property set to by layer immediately change to the new line type. The upper line changed to the new line type because, as you can see, when I move the cursor over the line so that I can see its properties, the line type for this line is set to by layer. But the lower line did not change. It didn't change because, as you can see, its line type is actually set to the continuous line type, not by layer. An object's line type is determined here. In the Properties panel on the Home Ribbon tab, the last item you see here in the list determines the line type of the object. By clicking on the drop-down, you're able to select the line types that have been loaded into this particular drawing file. If I choose the gas line, what that means is that any new object that I create, whether it's a line, arc, circle, or any other type of geometry, once I create the new object, it will be created with that gas line line type. If you select a specific line type from the list, objects will be drawn using that line type. If you select the line type by layer, objects will appear with the line type currently assigned to the layer. If you go to the list and you don't see the line type that you want, simply click on Other and AutoCAD will display the Line Type Manager dialog. In this dialog, click the Load button to display the Load or Reload Line Types dialog. Here you can see all of the line types available in the current line type library file. By default, this file is the ACAD.LIN file. These are the line types that exist inside it. If you would like to load another line type, simply select it in this list. To load several line types, press and hold the Shift key to select a range of line types or press and hold the control key to select several individual line types. Once you've selected the line types you want to load, click OK, and the new line types will appear in the Line Type Manager. Let's select Batting, and click the Current button to make that the current line type and then click OK to close the dialog. Notice that batting is now the current line type and will be used for the creation of new objects. If I start the line command and draw a new line, you'll see that the new line has been created using the batting line type. 